Hi guys, today I want to test my creativity and so and I have found these keys these two I have found in a well or fountain last summer while magnet fishing I don't have video of that unfortunately and these other two I have found in my grandmother's backyard or garden of how do you want to say it so I was thinking about restoring this and transforming them into beer opener or bottle opener and I was thinking about welding another piece right here like a little divot and you can simply place it like this on the bottle opener and then pry it open so I'm gonna start by removing them this one's from the ring and this other two I'm gonna cut this clothes that they are tightened with if I can yeah I'm gonna cut that off camera because I can't film and cut at the same time and I'll be back after okay so I managed to open I am aiming to cut them free so I want you to observe the difference this one in my right hand was buried in ground while this one on the left was in water so there is quite some difference I mean it's more rust on the one that was in water than the one that was in earth in the ground so I have two and another two so I'll start by brushing them with this wire brush and then putting them in vinegar to let them soak for 24 hours or more in order to remove the rust Alright, so I'm done brushing and now I'm gonna put some white vinegar over them. Okay, this should be enough. It's just enough to get over them. Now I'm gonna take some plastic foil and cover the whole thing. And I'm gonna show the results after 24 hours or more. Alright, so it is now the next day. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, so it smells not so pleasant because of the what is it? What is it? The vinegar. I almost forgot how to pronounce it. Okay, so let's take one of the keys. And some metal is showing. Now let's see if I take the brush. You can see clean metal underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna do a fast forward on, on one key and the rest I'm gonna clean off camera. Alright, so these are the keys after the cleaning. As you can see, there still is some pitting and some black marks, but most of the rust is gone. And this is one of the worst examples where there is still something left here. 
so what I'm gonna do next is take some abrasive sandpaper and try to clean cleaning them more so I don't want to make a long video on some keys so I'm not gonna show that part I'm just gonna let you these guys with the before images from now and the after images when I'm done cleaning them so as you can see all of them have pittings some of them have more than the others but I'm gonna try to do my best to clean them and show you the results after alright so these are the keys after a little bit of sanding as you can see some have cleaned a little bit better than the others there still, there still is a little bit of pitting on them so now I'm gonna give them to a friend to weld some spots here I mean here, exactly on the shaft of the key. Okay, so now that I have suspended all of them, I now have to paint them. And I will do this off camera because it's much easier. Alright, so now that they are painted, wait a little bit of overspray on my wall. Everything looks good, I will let them dry here and pick them up tomorrow or something. Alright, so the keys are done. As you can see, I have painted them black. There still has some marks on them, but it's quite okay because I want to know the story behind them. I don't want them to be brand new. So I'm gonna keep one and the rest I'm gonna give to friends that were with me that day when we find them. When we found them. So that was it, hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna put a shot from before in order for you to understand the process better, I mean to see the results.